what's going on youtube welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your fps and get better performance in all new valorant episode 8 act 2 and this is the only guide you'll need to get better performance so make sure to watch it till the end and with all that said let's get started All right, step number one is the compatibility settings and for that you have to search for Valorant and then click on open file location. Once you are here, you have to do this step once again until you are in the game directory and then over here you have to go back to Riot Games, open up Valorant, then go over to live and select Valorant.exe. Then right click on it, go over to properties and then go to compatibility right over here. Click on disable full screen optimizations, then click on change high DPI settings, select override high DPI scaling behavior and then select application right over here. Once that is done, simply click on apply and then press on ok. You have to do the same thing for shooter game, binaries win64 and then you will find valorant win64 shipping.exe, go over to properties, compatibility, click on disable full screen optimization, then high DPI scaling behavior, ok and ok once again. Step number two is the best window settings and for that you have to search for settings on your PC. Once you are here locate gaming then go over to game bar, turn this thing off it consumes a lot of memory in the background, go back, go over to game mode, enable this thing it optimizes your PC by turning things off in the background also disabling your unwanted notifications. Once that is done go beneath in the graphic settings, click on change default graphic settings enable both of these options they will utilize your gpu for gaming and also reduce your input latency for windowed games now go back to graphics and over here click on the browse button now you have to locate the install location of valorant simply click on add i've already added it so you have to find out valorant right over here once you find it out simply go over to options click on high performance then click on save once that is done, close your settings. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 53.78 but on this sale you can get it for 21.75 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is the best Valorant config settings. And for that you have to press Windows and R key together and then simply search for app data. Once you are over here, go over to local and then search for Valorant over here. Once you are here, go over to the saved folder, go over to configs, then you'll find the profile over here. Now I have already played with one single profile so here is mine but if you log into multiple accounts you'll have multiple folders. So in that case you have to click on date modified and it will show you the recently modified file right over here. And this is the file that you are concerned about. Simply open it up, go over to windows, then you'll find a game user settings.ini. Simply right click on this thing, open it up with notepad. Now over here you'll have to change some settings. First is the B use vsync, you have to make sure that this is false and B use dynamic resolution, make sure to set this thing to false as well. Then you have to scroll a little bit down until you find the frame rate limit and this thing should be set to 3 fps lower than your refresh rate of your monitor. Now, to check your refresh rate, you can simply search for display settings. Then over here, go over to advanced display and then you'll find your refresh rate. For me, it is 239.96, averagely 240. So 240 minus 3, that gives me 237. Right after that, you have to scroll a little bit down until you find BU's HDR display output. Set this thing to false. Then you have to scroll down and you'll find scalability groups. Now over here, you'll find everything that is set to 1 to 1. You have to set everything over here to 1 and your resolution quality should be set to 90%. This will give you best FPS but if you are running a super low end computer and you want to gain FPS, you can set this thing 
to 80% as well. This will make your game pixelated, but it will help you to get better FPS and smoother gameplay experience. Once that is done, simply press Ctrl and S key and it will save your settings. Now let's move to the next step that is deanimating your windows. It is super simple, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows, click on adjust for best performance, right over here click on show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts, as well as save taskbar thumbnail previews. Once that is done, simply go over to advanced settings, then over here for virtual memory, click on change. Now you'll find custom size, set this thing to 1361 and then for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator and you also have to open up your system information. Now over here you'll find install physical memory for your PC, it is 32 GB for me. So you have to simply multiply 32 with 1024 and it will give you the memory in megabytes. Now you have to divide this whole thing by 2 and the value that you get over here is to be set on the maximum size. Why initial size is set to 1361? Because it is just a bit over to 1024 and it will automatically purge your memory every time it reaches to this value. Once that is done, simply press on OK, close your calculator and then press on OK on the performance option as well. Next most important step is the local group policy editor and this will only work for Windows Pro users. So if you're a Windows Pro user, follow this step, otherwise you can skip it. Press Windows and R key together and then type in gpedit.msc. Simply open this thing up. Now you'll be in local group policy editor. Simply expand this window in the local group policy, click on administrative template under computer configuration and then over here you'll have to find windows components. Then find app privacy in here and you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Simply double click to open this thing up, click on enable, then default for all applications, select force deny, apply and ok. This will help you to stop all unwanted applications running in the background and it will give you better in-game performance. Next step is disabling all startup applications and for that you have to press Ctrl, Shift and Escape on your PC and it will open up Task Manager. Right over here you'll find something called Startup Apps. Now over here you'll find a list of all of the applications installed on your PC and you have to find the ones that you do not want to be opened as soon as your PC opens up. Simply right click on it and then click on Disable and it will disable those applications. And this will actually help you to reduce your system booting time and it will also help you to minimize the applications constantly running in the background, consuming your computer resources and it will help you to increase your gaming performance. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of your internet. Once you download and open up the application, it should look like this. Now over here, you have to simply locate a Valorant. It has a list of over 1000 games to choose from. I have picked Valorant over here, select the nearest game region to you. For me, it is Mumbai and it will help you to connect to the nearest server. If you don't know any region, you can always click on all regions and it will automatically look up for the nearest region to you. Once you've selected it, simply click on apply routes and Valorant will be added to your recents list. It helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers, allowing you to get best ping and reduce your internet issues that includes packet loss, latency and so much more. Best part about this application is a tools section over here where you get a dedicated FPS boost part. If you enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third last and last option, it will help you to get maximum performance in game. So I would definitely suggest you guys to go check out Exit Lag if that helps you out. They have a monthly, quarterly or annual subscription and if you get their subscription from the link in the description below, you can get a flat 23% off. So make sure to go check out Exit Lag, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Look for your local disk C, simply click on create and name it Valorant. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is super important if you want to restore every settings back on your PC without any data loss. Once that is done, simply press on close and then close system properties. Now last and most important step is the Valorant Episode 8 Act 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can also join my Discord server to download this thing. Now first thing over here is the CPU priority in which I have left Intel and AMD CPU priorities. So if you run an AMD CPU, you need to run the AMD CPU priority. However, if you run an Intel CPU, you need to run the Intel CPU priority. It will help you to prioritize your CPU and get better performance out of it since Valorant is a high 
highly CPU intensive game. Second folder is Valorant Priority and over here you have to leave your computer specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority that you have to choose from over here. According to your specifications you have to either pick for high priority or above normal priority. However, if you're facing any issues in the game you can always set it back to normal. Third folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your memory. I use 32GB RAM so I need to run this one however you can pick it from the list over here and if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default. Fourth one is the batch files in which I have left a lot of command prompts which will help you to reduce your input latency by a ton. First one will do your bcd edit tweaks which is nothing but disabling dynamic tick and using platform tick. Now once again this helps you to save your time as it will automatically apply these things. So what you have to do is simply right click and run all of them as administrator. Second one will disable your DNS cache and it will help you to reduce your network issues. Third one will clean your temp files and log files. These will help you to optimize your storage. This one will disable your high precision event timer which will help you to reduce your input latency. We have memory compression it will help you to reduce your cpu consumption while playing games and last is disable mitigation and this will help you to improve your booting time next folder is the pc optimization in which i have left a ton of registries these are completely optional however two things that you have to do over here mandatory is disable core parking and then unnecessary services rest all of them you have to apply if you want to seek better performance however these are all good to go once again if you don't like it you can always revert them back to normal last and final folder is the programs folder in which i have left clean temporary files once again this helps you to clean all of your temporary files you can simply right click and run this as administrator it is a cute pop-up it asks you to delete all temporary files once you press any key it will start deleting those files and don't worry this is completely safe and all of the files are temporary ones next is unpark cpu and this does the same job as as disable core parking you have to simply double click to open this software up and it opens just like this now right over here you can see enabled cores as well as sparked cores now what you have to do is slide this thing all the way to 100 percent and then for the system power plan if you have ultimate performance you can select that or you can go with high performance if that is available for your pc simply click on set as active then you have to click on apply and now you can see all of the cores are enabled on my pc this is exactly what you want to see refresh it and then close it and with that said you're done with the FPS pack. Now let's move into the best in game settings. Okay, once you open up your game, simply press your escape key and then go over to settings. Right over here, you have to go in the general settings. And over here, you have to make sure that your raw input buffer is turned on. Right after that, you have to go over to the video settings in which you have general settings. Make sure that your display mode is always set to full screen and your resolution should be your native monitor resolution at the highest refresh rate available. Scroll down and you'll find Nvidia Reflex Low Latency. Make sure to set this thing to on plus boost. Then go over to graphics quality right over here for multi-threaded rendering make sure to turn this thing on and all of the quality you have to make sure to set everything to low for vignette and vsync turn this thing off anti-aliasing go for msaa 2x or you can always set this thing to none as well then for anisotropic filtering set this thing to 2x improve clarity you can turn this thing off experimental sharpening off bloom off distortion off cast shadows you can turn this thing off if it impacts your fps but you can turn this thing on for better visuals so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button also do check out our other videos on valorant and other games on the channel we've also rolled out channel membership so if you guys are not a member yet you can always support the channel by joining the membership we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out